Are you looking to write ads for your Google AdWords campaigns creatively? Keep watching and I'll show you how. So before you come into your Google AdWords account to set up your ad groups and to write your campaigns, you need to take a step back and research your keywords, write your ads, and then come in here and set up the ads. So to do that, all we need to do is open up a Google Sheets document or you can set up one up in a Excel. So here's my spreadsheet. I've got these various columns. The first one is for ad group and keywords, which I'm going to fill in in a minute. The second one is the keyword type, whether the keyword is going to be exact match, phrase, broad or broad modified. Then the ads, and then I'm gonna uh, go through this character count and why it is so useful. The ads are made up of one line of heading, two description lines, one display URL, and a destination URL. The headline is in blue, and you can only have 25 characters. Line one and line two can have only 35 characters. The display URL 35 and the destination URL has got quite a few uh, characters allowed. I think it's about up to 100. Um, I'm not sure, but I've not had any problems ever of running out of uh, spaces for the characters. The formula for the character count is equals to LEN and then in brackets uh, the field. So I've got this one as C4. When I start to type in, it's going to count the number of characters. Once we've written all the ads, we then copy and paste them into our uh, AdWords account and it's very, very fast and seamless. The next step is to research our keywords, bring them in here to write our ads. I'm now in my Google AdWords account. Um, the keyword which we're going to research is car hire. The other thing you need to do is the targeting, uh, where you want your targeting areas to be. So I have uh, put in Bedfordshire, Hertfordshire and Buckinghamshire. So let's have a look, scroll down the page and Google will give us lots of ideas for ad groups, how to keep the keywords separate from each other and keep them organized. So let's go into the cheap car rental ad group. We've got a variety of keywords in here. It gives us the average monthly searches, how is the competition and the suggested uh, cost per click. So if I click on the average monthly searches and sort them out by the number of searches. So cheap car rental has got on average 260 searches per month, followed by cheap car rentals and then 40 and so on. So I look in here and I'm going to pick out a few keywords, take them into my spreadsheet and keep them in there. Now, we're not going to target the van rental and I will talk about the negative keywords in a minute. So we're just going to concentrate on the car rentals. So let's make a note of cheap car rental. So I'm going to name my ad group as cheap car rental. paste it and let's have a look and I'll just take a handful of keywords from here okay mm super cheap car rental people do look for 
of a bargain or two. Okay. All right. We'll go into another ad group. And let's go into the discount one. So it's a discount car. So I'll name it discount car rental. Okay. Do the same thing. Sort them out by the average monthly searches. Now, as you can see, there aren't a lot of searches being made for discount car rental. So let's have a look at another one where we may get some more average monthly searches. So again, sort them out by the average monthly searches column. And now you can see the car hire ad group has got a lot of searches. So let's go in here. And okay. So car hire in and then followed by the area, I presume. That's why there's so many searches being made. Economy car hire is quite good. We're not targeting USA. We're not targeting London, Italy. So you'll see a variety of keywords in here. Uh, let's pick up a couple of them. Economy car hire. Okay. So I'm going to rename this as car hire ad group. And I'm going to pick up one more keyword. This is quite a good one. Seven seater car hire. Okay. I'll just make them in black so keep it neat and tidy. Okay. So now I've got my ad groups and my keywords. So next thing is to write some ads. So let's start with writing our headline. To write the headline, you want to have your main keyword ideally in the headline. So let's start with cheap car rental and see how many characters we have got left. Okay, we've got a few more characters left which we uh, can utilize. The next thing I would do is to put in the name of the city or town uh, which you are targeting. So when somebody is targeting for London, then you will put in London like that. So we're within our 25 characters and we are utilizing the full amount. A good practice is to capitalize each word so they stand out a bit more. So we've got our headline sorted. Even though we weren't targeting London, I've just put this in. Um, let's try Milton Keynes. Now I know that this ad will never get approved by Google because it is over the character count. So I can't use Milton Keynes. So I'll just use a different town near us. And now we've got 22 characters, which is fine. So now we move on to description line one and line two, uh, where we have got 35 characters each. Uh, we need to use them wisely because we've only got a limited number of characters. Uh, we want to show the benefit, features, and a strong call to action within the 70 characters. So let's start with line one. Since our uh, the USP is cheap car rental, or the word cheap or budget, then we want to re-emphasize this by putting in a guarantee uh, of some kind which attracts the click and gets our ads uh, noticed by by someone searching uh, for cheap car rental. So how about we do so we've got guaranteed low prices. I'm going to pause the video for a second or two and then I'll go through the ad as to what I've written. Okay, so I've written the ads. Um, we've got cheap car rental train, guaranteed low prices on car hire. 
access protection book now so let's go through line description one first uh, so I'm giving them a guarantee that I've got guaranteed low prices and then try and use a keyword or phrase in here as well so we've got the car rental and car hire um, on the heading as well as in line description one then we've got a great feature which is access protection and you must have a call to action on any ad whether it is book now buy now call now or whatever the action uh, you want them to take so always have a CTA then you'll have your uh, web, ad web address or the display URL but what you want to do is you can at the end after the forward slash put in a keyword or a key phrase as well because that will again increase the quality score of your ads so in here I have put in car rental so if I were to put in let's say cheap car rental I've just gone over by a character and it won't get approved so I could make it cheap car hire and now, now I'm under 35 characters so I can use that as well the destination or the final URL is where the ad is going to take the the visitor to your website which is the landing page so no matter how long um, this URL is you can uh, paste it in here now I always a B split test the ads so as you can see I've got one more ad in here um, change that there as well now I'm gonna split test the ads by changing the headline from cheap car rental train to budget car rental train and see which attracts the most clicks until and unless you don't split test you will never find out which ad is performing and which ad isn't so my advice to you is always split test just by making a minute change of a word or maybe uh, which is in the heading or in uh, the description or it could be the call to action it could be anything but just don't make too many changes in uh, from both the ads just one change and see uh, which ad works better than the other the one which is performing you let it run the one which isn't you stop it and change it to keep on optimizing um, the click-through rate I hope you enjoyed this video uh, please do subscribe to our channel and feel free uh, to comment below and share any of the tips you may have for writing ads for Google AdWords. Take care. Bye for now.